And our off the top is an interesting one here, and maybe one that I actually should have made a main topic, but it's really something I wasn't even going to talk about till I saw how many people online were actually getting very, very upset about this. So what's going on? Well, here's the deal. You guys are familiar, of course, with the great Tom Hanks, Daryl Hannah film Splash. Well, they now put that on Disney+. Plus. For the most part, like 99%, Splash is an incredibly family-friendly film. However, there's one shot in Splash. There's one shot in Splash where you see Tom Hanks and Daryl Hannah share a kiss on a beach, and then the shot has Daryl Hannah turning around because she's a mermaid, so she's naked because that's what mermaids do. And she turns <laughs> around and runs to the beach, and for the ever briefest of moments, you see, you know, Daryl Hannah's bare ass. Okay. Disney Plus, of course, is a more family-friendly kind of platform, so what Disney Plus did to work around this was they got some of their CG artists to, in that shot, when Daryl Hannah runs into the water, they just CGI'd her hair to be longer. And so this longer CGI hair just covers her ass as she's running into the water. So it's the same shot, nothing has changed. It's just that they have her hair being a little bit longer to cover the ass to make it appropriate for Disney+. Plus. Fine. What I was not personally prepared for was exactly how many people would be up in arms about this and actually be quite upset by this. Like, you'd be surprised, quite upset by this, um, dare I say. And it's it's kind of, it's a little bit confusing to me, but here's the basic debate that is revolved around this. And I'm sure we're going to have some difference of opinion on here, and, I'm, and I welcome it. So here we go. The basic fundamental underlying argument for people who are upset by this is this is censorship. Now, you already know my feeling on that. It's not censorship. Censorship is when somebody else forces you to do something that you don't want to do. If you like if the government comes in and says, "You have blue walls. You're not allowed to have blue walls. Paint your blo your walls white." And they force you to paint your walls white. Well, that's kind of artistic expression in your own home censorship. But if it's your wall and you just decide, "I want to paint my walls white." Well, that's on you. You're not censoring the color blue. It's your wall. You can do whatever you're damn well pleased with it. Splash is now a property of Disney. And if they want to extend the hair over her butt, fine. That, that's their prerogative to do. It's their thing. I don't, like the, I don't like the changes that the Star Wars Special Edition did. I don't like those changes. But I've never once thought for a second that, you know, George Lucas didn't have the right to make those changes when he made them. It, they were his movies at the time. He can do whatever he wants. I didn't like it but I didn't have a problem with it. I don't like the changes. I hate the Jedi rock song. I hate that they took out the the um, Ewok music at the end of Return of the Jedi. I don't like it, but I have no problem with it because it's George Lucas's movie. He can do whatever he wants to do. So it's not censorship. Disney's doing something with their own film. It wasn't censorship when George Lucas changed his own film. It's not censorship here. But whether it's censorship or not, it still raises an interesting question that some people are rightfully raising online. At what point should we say that art, in whatever form, it shouldn't be meddled with and changed once it's done? And I think there's a discussion there to be had. And, and that, for the most part, is what I'm seeing most people who have a problem with this whole splash situation. It's not that they're saying, we think it's censorship. No, most people aren't saying that. What they are saying, though, is you can't just go and rewrite history. You can't just go and change art after the fact to suit your current senses and sensibilities. They believe, and it's always, you don't want to get into slippery slope arguments, but sometimes it's applicable, and some people feel like this is a bit of a slippery slope. Now, once you start doing this, another thing. Here's my take on this, Aaron. And I don't know if you're going to have a fundamental, I don't know if we're about to have a, a, an intellectual throwdown here or not. I really not. hope so. Um, but so here's, here's my take on this. I love it when we debate, I, I do too, but here's my take on this, all right? Mm -hmm. I think it's perfectly reasonable and understandable for people to see what Disney just did covering Daryl Hannah's ass, which should never be covered, by the way. Agreed. Just want to throw that out there. Agreed. But with Disney covering Daryl Hannah's ass, I understand and relate with the idea of not liking it and not agreeing with it because I didn't agree with the, the changes George Lucas made to Star Wars. I, I mean, I didn't like it. But I don't see why anybody would have a problem with it. Here's the thing. Movies going on television 
have always edited and we've always mm -hmm. understood oh yeah because on this network it's not appropriate to have certain material right. so they changed the f-bombs to frosted flakes instead of you know mother effer it's right. you know, moose frosty whatever they change the things and we we don't have a problem with that sam jackson calling saying he's a badass mother flipper yes yeah oh my god that's always the best when that happens i remember oh, okay anyway i won't go into that story <laughs> i won't get sidetracked here but you know we we understand that disney plus is a broadcast platform. It's a little different that it's on streaming, but it's still essentially a broadcast platform. And they decide, well, you know, we would like, this is mostly a very, very family-friendly movie. It's 99.9% .9 very fa family-friendly. We would like to have it on Disney+. Plus. The bare-ass shot might be a little questionable. Okay, we're not gonna change the movie. We're not gonna cut scenes out. We're not gonna replace, digitally replace one actor with another. We're just gonna say her hair's a little longer so it covers her nudity. Right. That's it. I understand not liking it, I understanding thinking eh, if I was Disney I wouldn't have done that I get that but I don't understand the notion of saying I have a problem with this right I just I just don't see it from either a censorship point of view because it's not censorship but also from this whole slippy slope argument because television has been doing it forever now I've heard some people say well if you didn't want the bare ass on Disney plus then you shouldn't have it on Disney plus okay but that's like saying to television networks all through the decades that have broadcast some of our favorite movies, saying, well, if you don't want to include the F-bombs, don't have it on your broadcast right. network. We've never made that argument because we all know that argument is stupid. So that's why we've none of us have ever made that argument. Mm -hmm. I, now listen, I don't want to set a precedent here that says I think it's okay to just go back and change movies and change history and all that kind of stuff. I don't. But in a specific circumstance like this, where for their broadcast network, just like CBS would do, just like NBC would do, just like Fox would do, just like whatever network would do, saying, we want to put this on our network, but there's a part here, and instead of cutting the scene out, listen, instead of cutting the scene out, what Disney did was, let's make sure we leave the scene in, we'll put a little bit extra money into it, and we'll just have the hair be longer, so it's no problem for anybody. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I just feel like this is a case of the internet because I do this and you do this. I feel like this is just a case of we, the internet, complaining for the sake of complaining. Right. But I, I don't know. I think there's a lot of different ways of looking at this. And you do want to be careful. But I think in this specific circumstances, that's how I see it. Okay. I've set it up. I explained the situation. Aaron, mm -hmm. Disney has covered Daryl Hannah's ass, which we all agree is a fallacy. But, Agreed. But in this specific circumstance... <laughs> Do you, as an artist yourself and as an mm -hmm. actor in the arts, do you have a fundamental problem with this or do you think this is something that is much ado about nothing? How do you see it? It's completely much ado about nothing. As you said, this has been happening since the beginning of when films were then aired for television. They were always edited for television for language, for violence, for nudity, for sexual situations. Um, when you go and you watch a movie on an airplane, there is always going to be some level of, uh, you know, you don't want to see someone having a full nude sex scene in the seat next to you. Although I think now it's a little bit more open with the streaming, you know, networks. But th there was a lot of censorship there. And yes, somebody's probably saying, oh my gosh, but what about Booksmart? And that was a whole thing. That was, that Booksmart controversy was different because it was actually um, based on uh, uh, discrimination. But back to Splash, the same thing happened like with with Spartacus. In the original Spartacus, when my character of Sura was being taken away by the Romans, I was topless. When the television show was then sold to, I think it was like WGN or TNT, whoever ended up buying it, and it was going to be broadcast to a broader network and had to be censored, which I can't even understand how they were able to take out so much of the sexuality and the nudity in Spartacus because it was kind That's of... That's a lot. It was a lot. <laughs> Spartacus, uh, uh, Spartacus boobs and blood is what people used to call <laughs> it. But in the edited version, a piece of red CGI blanket, similar to the blanket that was around my waist, was just placed over my breast. And it didn't take anything away from the story. It didn't mean that anything had changed. It just meant, okay, for this particular platform... We don't need to see her boobs. If you really want to see Daryl Hannah's butt, you can probably go to MrSkin.com and you can find it with the click of a button. And if your version of Splash that you really want to watch has Daryl Hannah's full butt in it, you can probably order the DVD or the Blu-ray online. Um, Disney, as we've talked about many, many times on this show, Disney Plus is 
a wonderful platform if you are a parent and you want to stick your kid in front of the television and say, okay, I know that you can flip to any single, uh, you can watch anything on Disney Plus you want and I don't have to worry about it. If we start opening the door to saying, okay, well, it's fine to have Daryl Hannah's butt. Okay, well, a nipple's not that bad. Okay, like where, Once you start opening that door, when you have a platform that had previously said, hey, you don't have to worry. Now, some families might say, it's, a, it's the human body, it's anatomy, it's no big deal. But, but that's other, a different debate. That's right, exactly. A, yeah. I, no, I, that's what I'm saying is like Disney Plus, their job is not to decide what is or is not appropriate for you and your family to watch. Their job is to say, okay, these are the properties that we own and we want to make sure that we are following as much of a family-friendly environment as possible. And so I think that they're doing a really smart thing. And also, how many times do you listen to um, you know, songs on the radio um, Eminem songs that are bleeped out. Oh that, yeah, all the time. All the time. All the time. And, no, and people understand. Okay, that's because this is for a wider audience. If I want to listen to the un the uncensored version of that song or the non radio friendly version of that song, I'll go and download it on iTunes and I'll pay my dollar twenty nine for it. So if you want to see the version that it was originally intended as. Just go buy it because I I could I almost guarantee that the people that have the biggest issue with this are not people who are going to go watch Splash on Disney Plus anyway. Like, are these people really? Are, was, was that really what you wanted to do? Were we really like, oh my god, I can't wait to go watch Disney Plus so I can see Splash and see Daryl Hannah's butt? Come on. Yeah, I mean, look, and I think there's also an interesting thing here about uh, arguments that have often been made about uh, remakes. It's like some people act as if when a remake gets made, that yeah. means the network is going to send out a cat burglar to your house in the middle of the night, sneak into your home, steal your original version of that movie, and you can never watch the original again. Right. And I feel like, look, there's other avenues to watch Splash that you can, I can still order Splash on Amazon Prime and, and things like 100%. that and pay for it and watch it. I, I just don't see the problem. And again, I don't want to get into the slippery slope argument because there's already precedence for this. Some people also say, well, Disney Plus has Hulk's bare bottom in that scene in Thor Ragnarok for a moment. True. But just like we always talk about on this show with violence, right? You can show Transformers. And in a PG-13 thing, you can have Transformers going and you can have Optimus Prime cut off the head of a Decepticon. If it's a mythical creature, if it's CG animated, there's a lot more leeway there, right? Just like we see Thanos get his cut off. He's a CG mythical creature monster. It's not a real human being, blah, blah. There, now, right, you can agree or disagree with that, but the fact of the matter is because it's CG, we tend to give it a lot more leeway. And I think the same is true with a shot like that, is that, well, with Hulk, he's a mythological creature. It's a CG thing. They give it a little bit more leeway. Right, they wouldn't show Bruce Banner's butt. No, they wouldn't have, yeah, exactly. They wouldn't have shown uh, Mark Ruffalo naked. So right. I don't know. Although we, they should. Right, and we can get it, you can get into the argument about what should and shouldn't be considered family friendly, but that's not what the issue on the table is. Right. The issue on the table is, is it understandable that Disney, for their platform, feels mm -hmm. like we want to show this movie that we have the rights to, but just like every other television broadcaster in history has always edited the stuff for broadcast, and we understand that that's not censorship per se, I don't see a problem with it. Now, I'm already anticipating most people are going to disagree. So I made that the topic of today's question of the day. And earlier, much, much earlier this morning, I put this up on my Twitter to ask you guys, what do you think about this? Over 3,200 of you guys responded, and I simply asked, with what? Disney Plus... With Disney Plus putting CGI longer hair to cover Daryl Hannah's bare rear, is it perfectly okay to make it appropriate for Disney Plus, or do you consider it inappropriate censorship? We talk about this some more, and like I said, over 32, almost 3,300 of you guys have responded. One, two thirds of you, actually, that's a smaller number than I thought. Mm. I thought this would be like 90% to 10%. Really? To I really did. I really thought it'd be like 90% to 10%. Oh, but right now, 67.9% uh, of you feel like it's censorship. 32.1% of you uh, disagree with me or agree with me and think it's, it's perfectly okay. So it's about a two to one ratio on this. Again, I thought it was going to be much more lopsided. So I'm kind of surprised that it's as close as it is. Anyway, guys, I think there's a lot of nuance to this debate and there's a lot of interesting details to discuss. I think this is a fun discussion to have. What do you guys think about all this? Jump down into the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. I'm not going to lie. I really thought you were going to be angry. This is censorship. You thing. did? As, what? A, as an artist, I really thought 
you were going to be. I, I was prepared for us to have this. Okay, great back here's and the forth thing. Here's the thing. If the if the if the U.S. government mandated no more butts, yeah. no more nipples, no more you can't do nudity because that's inappropriate for American viewing, like there like happens in other countries. Right. You know, there are other countries where there is massive censorship. I mean, my cousin who was living in Abu Dhabi said, um, "I just saw bitch slap on television," and I said, "In Abu Dhabi, in Abu Dhabi," and I go. What did you see like 30 seconds of the movie? The whole movie is like cleavage and guns and violence and sexuality. And she's like, yeah, it was definitely a very edited version. Like you can't even if the government was saying these are things that you cannot show in movies or in television anywhere because we feel like we need to police what people are watching. That 100 percent I would have an issue with. But this it's like just like you use the analogy of a, of a remake or a sequel. The original is still available. Daryl Hannah's butt will live on for all of us to enjoy in perpetuity. But you know what? If you're going to watch Disney Plus, you just got to be ready to watch it through the eyes of a four year old. And how many of the people that vote that were really up in arms about this are going to cancel their Disney Plus subscriptions because of it? Oh, oh, none. None. Exactly. But that's okay. You can have a problem with one thing and not cancel your membership. I mean, that's all right. But no, anyway. I'm mad, John. God damn it. <laughs> Question for you guys is, what do you feel about this? Jump down to the comment section below and let us know your thoughts. All right, guys.